Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 16 on random variables. In this lecture, we will discuss one problem on finding mean and variance of discrete probability distribution. So if you are watching this lecture series first time, I suggest you to watch lecture number 7 and 8 on random variables before going for this lecture. So so that you can have the idea about mean and variance of the discrete probability distribution. So first we recall uh, what is the mean and variance of discrete probability distribution or suppose x is a discrete random variable x is a discrete random variable uh, with probability mass function say px or some authors are using fx for pmf also so suppose x is a discrete random variable with probability mass function denoted by either px or mu x then mean of x is denoted by this notation mu and it is given by summation x times px for all possible values of the discrete random variable and if you are using this notation fx for probability mass function then we can write sigma x times fx and variance of x is given by it is denoted by sigma square and it is also summation of x minus mu square times px for all possible values of x or we can replace uh, this px by fx if you are using fx as a notation for probability mass function uh, we have another shortcut formula for variance so variance sometimes can be calculated using this formula also expected value of x square minus square of mean where this expected value of x square is given by sigma x square times probability mass function for all possible values of x so we can use either this formula to calculate variance or this formula as per our conveniency and this is the formula for mean of a discrete random variable so we now start this example the following table gives the probabilities that a certain computer will malfunction 0 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 times on any one day so these are the values of uh, number of x malfunctions corresponding probabilities are denoted by fx here so we are given probability mass function values of probability mass function for each value of x so for x equal to 0 corresponding probability is 0.17 similarly for other values of x we are given corresponding probabilities and we are asked to find out mean and variance of this probability distribution so here we can see uh, our random variable x is nothing but number of times number of times a certain computer will malfunction okay, this is our random variable certain computer will malfunction so the number of times a certain computer will malfunction so this is the random variable and here possible values of x are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and we are given corresponding probabilities and probabilities are denoted by small fx so now we can simply use this formula and we can calculate mean and similarly we can find out variance so first we find out mean of random variable x or mean of given probability distribution mean of given discrete probability distribution probability distribution simply we can write in this way also so is 
mu equal to another notation for mean is expected value of random variable x so this is equal to sigma x times probability mass function here x takes the values from 0 to 6 so we can uh, multiply this corresponding values and then uh, we can take their sum so 0 into 0.171 into 0.29 so this is very easy we just have to multiply uh, corresponding x values and corresponding probabilities so 0 into 0.17 then 1 times 0 0.29 plus 2 is multiplied with 0 0.27 3 is multiplied with 0 0.16 So 2 times 0.27 plus 3 times 0.16 and uh, let me write here 4 into some probability 5 into some probability and uh, 6 into probability. So I have to write down probabilities corresponding to 4, 5 and 6 here. So for 4, 5 and 6 uh, we have 0 0.07, 0 0.03 and 0 0.01 731 so that we write here 0 0.07 0 0.03 0 0.01 and if you uh, calculate all these values you have 1.8 as your mean so therefore mean mu equal to 1.8 mean of given probability distribution is 1.8 now for variance we have to first uh, uh, calculate this expected value of x square because we are going to use this formula so we will require expected value of x square mean is already calculated so first we calculate expected value of x square using that formula so now expected value of x square equal to sigma x square times fx x is running from 0 to 6 so here first we write 0 square into corresponding probability plus 1 square into corresponding probability plus 2 square into corresponding probability then 3 square into value of fx 4 square into value of fx 5 square into value of fx and then 6 square into value of fx so I have to write down probabilities corresponding to 0, 1, 2 up to 6 in these brackets from this given table so first uh, 3 values are 0 0.1729 27 one seven twenty nine and twenty seven then we write remaining value starting from three corresponding to three we have point one six point zero seven that is sixteen seven three and one sixteen seven three and one point one six 0 0.07, 0 0.03 and 0 0.01 okay, so if you take square and if you multiply you will have uh, this as 5.04 okay, you take square of all these values and then multiply these brackets and take summation so you will obtain this as expected value of x square so expected value of x square is 5.04 and then we write down the formula for variance the variance is denoted by sigma square is given by sigma square equal to expected value of x square minus square of mean expected value of x square is 5.04 and square of mean is 1.8 so this is nothing but 5.04 minus 3.24 so 
so this turns out to be 1.8 same value as mean okay, so therefore variance of given probability distribution is 1.8 so here the mean and variance of given probability distribution turns out to be equal okay, so this is very easy example you just have to remember the formulas for uh, mean and variance of a discrete random variable x or discrete probability distribution x okay, so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much